find the following indefinite integrals. So we've got x e to the 5x squared plus 4dx. Now you can do this directly, but we'll use the method of substitution. So if we let u be the power, so u will be 5x squared plus 4. If we differentiate that, we're just going to get 10x. And we'll let dx be the subject, so dx will be equal to du over 10x. Now, when we uh, put in that x and that x will cancel out, we've just got du over 10. So it will now become the integral of e to the 5x plus 4, which is u. And then we place dx with uh, du over 10. And that we rewrite as one tenth e to the u du. Now, when you integrate u e to the u with respect to u, it's itself. So it's one tenth e to the u plus c. Replacing the u with five x five x squared plus four, we get one tenth e to the five x plus four plus c. Again, you could do it uh, directly as well as the reverse of the chain rule. Okay, looking at the second one. Okay, I'm going to let u be equal to the uh, denominator. So if I let u be equal to 3x squared minus 2, and I differentiate it, so du by dx will be 6x minus 2. Now, there is a common factor here of 2. Let's take it out. So we get 2, 3x minus 1. That's good, because I've got 3x minus 1 there. So dx will be du over 2, 3x minus 1. Now, when I substitute uh, this for dx, these 3x minus 1s will cancel out. And therefore, I will be left with the integral of 1 over 3x squared plus minus 2x, which is u, times du over 2 for dx. So that's 1 half the integral of 1 over u du. Now, the integral of 1 over u is ln of u plus c. And then replacing for uh, u uh, ln of the absolute value of 3x squared minus 2 plus c. This has to be positive, so that's why the two straight lines are there. Now, if you apply a rule of log rooms, r log a to the x is log a x to the r, that half can come up there. We no longer need the straight lines because we'll be taking the positive square root. And therefore, write it as ln of square root of 3x squared minus 2x plus c. That's if you're asked to write the final answer as a single logarithm. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to uh, integrate exponential functions and functions when integrated lead to a log. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.